So guys, welcome back to the channel guys. As you can see, we have a ton of parts for the truck guys. are the tow mirrors from the I think it's 06 to 18 uh, F250 as you see guys they're telescoping and smoke corners with the turn signal extra big mirrors as you can see the difference between these and the stock ones is an incredible difference we also have LED fog lights for the front to replace our fog lights we have LED rear spotlights for our backup cameras. We have floor mats, custom cut and deep floor mats for the truck, and a bed cover from Tiger. First thing we're going to be doing is our bed cover from Tiger, so let's get all this stuff off and get to putting the bed cover on. Our first step is to set the bed cover and back rail on in place we have laid out our side rails on either side that they're determined to go what we're going to do first is slide this piece in and you'll see it'll snap into a little area back here that has a screw we'll snap into that tighten down the screw do the same thing on the other side then we can center our bed cover and then we can start putting our clamps down so now that you have this in place and the side rails attached and tightened down, what we can start to do are put our clamps on. So what we need is this piece here has to be even with the bed rail. So scoot, scoot it over a little bit. This clips into here, it goes up and under, and clamps down. So what we need to do is take this apart, put this in, Put this up and under, like that, and then we'll tighten down this bolt. And we do that three more times, all the way down, and that's what holds our bed in. Now we do the other side, and what we'll do is we'll roll this out, see where it sits, adjust the tension, see how it fits with the bed, all that kind of stuff and then we can make adjustments slide it forward and back a little bit if we need to and that's basically it guys this is a super simple like 10 minute install from start to finish and gonna be fantastic so let's finish this up so guys we have this kind of lightly tightened down let's unroll this and see where Everything kind of lays. Let's get this protective foam off. Once we get the protective foam off. Ugh, there we go. We can see where this locks in. And as you can see, it locks in right here. On either side, locked in, and then you flip it down. Oh, well, if you get it in there. So, I think we need some adjustment on either side, but let's see. Yeah, it needs a little bit. Hang on. You unattach it, bring it down, just put it in, and clip it. Oh, oh no. You gotta adjust. Let's see. There we go. And it's tight. So it's perfect. So let's see. It snaps in, snaps down. Super nice and tight. Let's pull you guys off, set you on the ground, and let's see how this thing goes with the trailer. And that thing's pretty snug, I like it. So let's see where we're at. What you're supposed to do, pull this, that pops up. You do this, and then you can snap it down. And that is secure. That actually looks like it hangs over a little bit too much on the on the tailgate. 
just a little bit. So what we need to do is we'll loosen up the little clamps and we'll push this back just about half an inch. No, not even half an inch, quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch backwards, then this is gonna sit perfectly on the truck. So guys, we have the floor mats in. They were pretty simple. We just literally put them in. That was it. Nothing too hard. Now we're gonna jump to the mirrors. So guys, we're back. We're gonna be working on the mirrors. So we need to get these bolts off. We have our switch panel pulled up. We're gonna disconnect all of these. Then we have a bolt here, a bolt there. Then we pop all the white clips off and the door panel should pop right off. When we're done with that, we can disconnect the connector back here. Then we can pull these four bolts off and the mirror should come off. So let's get to it. Once we have all the bolts off, all we have to do, at least I think, oh, is there one more? Aha, ha, forgot, there's one more. So once we pull five bolts, I thought there was only four, but there's five, I guess. Loosen this up, and this mirror should just fall right off. I have a magnet here. Oh. There you go. Do this with the magnet. Spin the magnet. Oh, oh. There you go. Pull it out, and this one should literally come right off. There we go. We're going to push our Let's let it hang. <laughs> Walk on this side. So, we have our electrical here. Got to push it through the hole. And out she comes. And this is officially off and headed to my dad. So, what we need to do next Feed this down and in. And what we're going to do is feed the down and in. And we are going to get uh, lined up. And we're going to get one bolt started on the top to hold this in. And then we will feed the wire down, connect it, and then we'll be done. So, fairly easy, guys, as you can see before and after. These things look fantastic they're extra big they're exactly what we need for this truck they look amazing what we're gonna do eventually is this up here is gonna get painted white and it's gonna match the truck up here on the top and leave those smoked and everything but that absolutely looks fantastic all we're gonna have to do is once we get in we'll adjust them to to what we need but they are good to go so next thing to do is fog lights get these out get the LED in is we've unbolted one fog light there's three bolts two up top one down here we remove the grill so we can easily get to the two top ones all we have to do is slide this one out slide the new ones in and bolt them into place hook them up and we're done what we got so that we can hook these up to our OEM we have little adapters grab these off of Amazon for like three bucks for the pair they just clip in we're gonna strip these back we are gonna use a little whoop, hook these to these and then we basically have a removable um, style fog light let's get to it so now guys we have a completed harness and if we plug this in we have our LED which is super bright so we'll get it in there then we can adjust it with these two little screws on either side easy peasy so let's get it hooked up and then we'll do the other side before and after.
So our fog lights are in. They're hooked up. They're working. They look great. Let's wait till tonight and actually see what they look like. So the only thing left we have on the truck is our reverse lights here. So as you saw, we have these uh, LED reverse lights. This bracket, this bracket goes around our trailer hitch right here and fits like that. And both of them hang off on either side. Um, super easy to actually put on, but wiring it up is a little bit more difficult since we don't have any wiring or a harness or resistors or anything to, to run that much power off of the reverse lights because the reverse lights have such a small wire we don't want to burn that up so what we're going to have to do is at a later date we are going to run a little fuse and all that stuff and run it hook it up so that they're triggered by the reverse lights but don't run power off of the reverse lights so that we can actually have them working and not burn up all the wires guys but that is it for this truck guys we have our mirrors we have our cover we have our floor mats and we have our fog lights we cleaned up on christmas on truck stuff guys this thing is now outfitted and ready to go so i'll see you guys next video